going on everyone? It is C N D back again. So last time you guys saw me, I was in New York City. Now I'm in Richmond, Virginia in a way, way cooler spot. So let's check it out. So first you come around the corner and you got the wondrous bathroom. I take it in there. We keep coming this way and it's bedroom where all the magic totally happens. Okay, let's get to the cool stuff. Go this way. Go, go, go. Get the frick out my way. Here we come into the game corner. All right, so if you guys have been following me on Twitter or YouTube or whatever I was selling my collection on on eBay right I was trying to at least uh, and a lot of you guys were worried that I was getting rid of like all my collection I'm totally changing I'm not don't worry still love Nintendo it's on me forever okay what I did though is I got rid of basically like so much collectibles I kept all of my games kept all my consoles you'll see in a second uh, but all I kept like collectible wise figures plushies and stuff like that is just the most sentimentally valuable stuff to me so this case this first case here is probably some of my most like prized possessions there are a few things that I guess are you know valuable like as well but more than anything they just mean a lot to me so up top we have obviously the box of my switch the first sold switch that I got at the Nintendo store and it's signed by Doug Bowser there and then also Kit and Krista, which I got that done at E3 when I went there. Uh, I got some Nintendo um, shades, a pen. I got a bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff. I still have some old uh, snacks, like some pretzels and gummies. Don't ask about it. Anyways, I got these super old Nintendo playing cards. This I've had forever. This is like before Nintendo even made video games, which is cool. This guy um, I got in Osaka in Japan when I went in 2014. This box right here, which... I didn't like at first that he signed it on the top, but it actually kind of works with displaying both of them. But this is the Mario Odyssey uh, bundle that I got when I waited 10 days in line to be the first for that. And Reggie was there and he signed it. Um, I got a bunch of my gold coins here and the, all of the gold uh, Pokemon Burger King toys. And then obviously this is one of my hugest, biggest, most amazing possessions. I love that. Anyways, moving down. You got this Mario I've had forever. This is the Club Nintendo Platinum Reward Game & Watch. We got Hanafuda cards. These are repos, but they are official from Nintendo. More uh, Club Nintendo rewards. Some more Switch stuff. These are two McDonald's toys from back in the day, but they were like some of the first ever things in my collection. Same with Ninja Turtle back there. Um, I got these cool pins from Lamar Wilson and Glitch. And there's a Mario coin back there. There's a Mew that a fan gave me that has a first place on it, like it was from a tournament. So I thought that was cute, kind of like I was the first in line, so he gave me that. My GoFest badge and wristband. I got my Nintendo World Championships VIP badge. That is like, that's really cool. Going down, a fan actually went to Comic Con and waited in line two times so he could get uh, Charles Martinet's signature for me. This is when he's promoting the 30th anniversary, so I framed that. I got a custom amiibo of a little CND token that a fan um, uh, got me, uh, or, or made me. Uh, I got my Oddishes, obviously. I got some old school Mario, another Oddish, Black Puffle, and then this right here I've had forever. That was like back when I was really into LEGO Star Wars. I kept this. That's a super rare uh, chrome Lego Darth Vader minifigure. Got all my wristbands from all my different lines. You can see this one is numbered one. That was the Odyssey line. Um, I think the silver and one of these other red ones was the Switch line. I got my visitor pass when I actually got to visit the headquarters of Nintendo in Redmond, Washington. And then I got all my favorite plushies. So I got rid of a whole bunch of plushies, but I had to keep my all-time favorites. Like this was from Japan. This Kirby was from Japan. These Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Yoshi I have had forever. Oddish is my favorite. Puffles I've had since I was a kid. This Charmander I genuinely had since I was probably three or four years old. So that's really cool. Anyways, I could go on and on, but all of this stuff here has a story and it's really cool. Anyways, so then we have a little mini shelf right here, uh, which is like hiding like some cords and whatnot in the router. But I got another, this is probably up there with one of the coolest things I own. This is my custom. Uh, Alex C&D Amiibo made by this lady right here. I'll show you on the screen. 
So that's really cool. Custom shiny Oddish amiibo made by a fan. A uh, little custom Mario with my Switch tattoo on him. Uh, I got, you know, the waifu. I got a box gold and, and, and silver Mario because I love them. Uh, I have the Game Chasers Season 1, still sealed. Some Zelda manga and then um, a bit of my manga collection right here. Oh, these are really cool. So this they sell at the Nintendo store, but this they sell at the Nintendo store that's inside of um, the headquarters in Redmond, Washington. So only guests or like employees can shop at that one. But it's literally like a miniature uh, Nintendo New York. It's super cool. So I kept both of those. Let's go this direction before we get to the games. So we got more manga here. Oh, actually, wait, you got to look up top. We got Rob with all the Sonico waifus. I don't know, if you guys have been around for a while, you know this story, but it all started with this one that I happened to win as a joke when I went to Japan. People saw in the background of my live streams and they started sending me more, so thank you guys. Don't look at those mangas too closely, let's keep going here. Then we got a little bit more, got my old school Nintendo Power. I just kept two of them. I have this one and I got the Metroid and the Super Mario World one, which are really cool where I keep my cameras and stuff. Then we got some like, some random toys and whatnot, like my Kendama toy, you know? My cards for magic tricks. Just got some random books. Oh, but this you gotta check out. You gotta check out this. You guys might have remembered that video I made. So this is my Pokemon card collection. I got, I still have it. I still have the complete first base set. I got all 102 and the energies are shadowless. Oh, and then I got a crap ton of Oddish cards. I have almost the complete collection of every single Oddish and Oddish variant that's ever been made. Oddish is the best Pokemon. We got a really valuable prize possession right here. This is my uh, signed by Plain Rock 124 um, smashed Animal Crossing amiibo. He smashed it for me before my very eyes and then signed this. So I thought it was really cool. Uh, I got a bunch of my plug-in plays. Uh, I got the Spongebob one I got recently from Goodwill, some DVDs, some game guides, and books, and uh, the best movie, crap, the best movie ever. Okay, let's move on. This is the game corner slash amiibo corner, as you can see. So we'll start with my amiibo collection. I love it so, so freaking much. I used to, for the longest time since the beginning, be on top of all of them and have the complete collection. Right now, I'm missing... 17 of them so uh, missing a few a few kind of more rare ones like Joker Monster Hunter ones that just came out so yeah I got all the Smash Bros ones on top I tried to put them in roster order but they got kind of mixed up a little bit here we got the Skylanders we got the Japanese exclusives shout outs to whoever you were that sent all those to my PO box back in the day that's so amazing because one of those that you sent was this guy right here box boy which is now officially the rarest amiibo there is. The addiction is back though, let me tell you. Switch games, yes, I don't have every single freaking Switch game ever. So I got all my 3DS games right here. I got my Kid Icarus Uprising AR cards in the little Hokey Ball there. Shout out to Billy from the Game Chasers for uh, hooking me up with these boxes. My other DS game, and I got this super cool old school Mario card. Oh. <laughs> and then, the big shelf. Starting from the top, we got kind of rare, I guess. It's a golden Minecraft. They only did it at like some Minecon or something. I don't know, but I bought it online. Boxes for my classics. This is kind of just like space holder for now. A fan made me the little wooden CNDs, which is cool. Kermit from Jenna Marbles for my girlfriend and Kiki here. So this is a little bit of, of her stuff up there. <laughs> I got a little Yoshi and this little cool duck hunt art thing. Uh, I put Sega Genesis up here, not because it's the best and it's on the top, it's just because this stuff down here, the cooler stuff, the NES games, right? We got the gold one. Um, and my Super NES, this is more eye level, you know what I mean? So this is what you see first, right? The good stuff, the Nintendo. So yeah, we got like all the Marios here, one, two, three, you got Kid Icarus, Kirby, Metroid. I like to collect all of the Nintendo published games that are literally just like baseball, soccer, golf, you know what I mean? I need to expand my Super NES collection a lot. I got this game for probably like five bucks back in the day, which was an awesome find. Pulled it out of some dude's basement. Um, you got Mario 64, Star Fox, Zelda, Majora's Mask, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Stadium, Hey You Pikachu, Tui, Perfect Dark. Okay, so then we got the handheld section right here. Got the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Missing the Pocket. But then we have Game Boy Advance, SP, DS Lite, 
Need to get a DSi again. Original 3DS. Uh, GameCube games. I'm so glad I have a, a, a few of these ones that I do have because holy crap, these are going up in price lately. The DK Bongos. And a whole bunch of Wii games now. This collection's been growing a, a good bit recently. The Wii U games, honestly, a great system. I think it was so amazing. We got all these amazing games like uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, and then 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 Animal- We got the good stuff. Got my golden Wii remote, that was from a fan. This was also from a fan. I don't know why you guys are giving me such amazing stuff. Poopy PlayStation and Poopy Xbox. Um, not really. I love it. Trying to expand this collection a little bit. Did you guys know that there was a Red Dead before Red Dead Redemption? Alright, so, moving on. Come this way, come this way. So, um, wait, 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 don't look that. Look over here, look over here, look over here. We got my Star Wars plush, you know, hiding how crappy my gaming chair is. Um, you know, that's why I'm not that good at PC games. But anyways, I got my little corner set up here, which I think is super cool. Got the ring light, tripod, webcam, microphone, headphones, um, whatever this is. I don't know what's happening on Discord. Uh, join the CN Discord, by the way. It's fun. Got a new little um, keyboard here, which is cool. Got my uh, Switch dock all ready to go with the Elgato, so I can stream that really easily. And then this is my new computer down there I don't know if you can really see that much but look at it it's down there <laughs> what's really cool about um, having your computer set up in your living room set up is if you go to Amazon and buy yourself a nice 25 foot maybe it's 50 I don't know HDMI cord and you run that sucker all the way from there back around town and to this setup then you could stream from like the couch here, or I could throw anything up on this screen like Clone Hero and I can play on the TV. It's freaking amazing, I love it. Anyways, this is the coolest part of the whole party, what you've been waiting for, my console setup. I know you guys have seen it many times before, but it's updated a little bit. So obviously it's not all in one row because I, there's a bar here and only got so much room. We got old school on this side, and then if you look at the top, the top row is all Nintendo, going from old school all the way down to the new school stuff. And then if you imagine, see it's on the top, if you imagine this whole thing is just to the left, it still lines up, okay? I, I, I'm not crazy. Anyways, then you got Sega, Genesis, and Dreamcast, Atari, and then you got the Xbox lineup. So you got original, 360, and then the one, obviously. Okay, so then we got the PlayStations on the bottom. We got the, the one, another one, <laughs> two, three, Four, and then shout out to King, Mr. Plain Rock, for the PlayStation 5. Definitely go check out the video we made on his channel with that. And then also look forward to another video coming out real soon on this channel, actually. This is a nice TCL Roku 4K 55 inches. And honestly, like, I I'm not one to like flex on like prices or anything, but I'm gonna flex on the price because this thing was a freaking deal, let me tell you. This is only 200 bucks and it looks so crisp so we got the switch dock right here um i don't have a little thing in there i think this looks kind of more subtle and nice i got my little my little timer right there the little 8 bit and then we got the super nintendo classic and the nes classic everything is hooked up well that's a lie mostly everything that you you want to play everything is plugged in there's a little switch right here with all the inputs everything hooked up i also have a computer set up so i got the, the the mouse right there and i got a keyboard sitting off to the side here i also got my old computer hooked up to this so like someone could be sitting here playing you know a game and i could be sitting playing a game over there and we could be doing LAN, and it's it's pretty grand anyways this is the whole setup the other half of the, the, the place is just the kitchen and, and, and whatnot, so yeah, that's about it. This is my kitchen. I got a big A up there, a little C and D up there. I kept one of the Sprite cranberries um, from when Sprite sent uh, Desmond and I some Sprite cranberries for making that meme back in the day. I got a pantry right here. It's amazing. I got the real fuel, you feel me, in the pantry. <laughs> got milky this is a mirror uh, this is soap 
Did I show you these controllers? I don't know. I got all the controllers up here, nice and accessible, all the modern stuff. So you can just grab, oh, I'll play a PlayStation, I'll play Xbox, I wanna play Nintendo Switch, I wanna play Nintendo Wii. Wii U U. So then you got my couch, which is still the same couch from Brooklyn, and it's amazing because it turns into a bed, which is amazing because sometimes you have people spending the night and sleeping over with you, which, by the way, who's recording right now? Who's, how, is this camera just been floating this whole time? Let me, let me, let me look real quick. Let me look real quick. Whoa, wait a second. What is that? <laughs> it's me. There's a plane rock here. What and the it, it was kind of spoiled because I'm pretty sure I saw my face in the mirror when I was recording you over there. <laughs> this is a mirror. Okay, and then the final thing here I want to show you guys is this a last glass cabinet right here. Some very prized possessions of mine. Obviously, my YouTube plaque back there. This is the Master Sword from the Master's Edition of Breath of the Wild. Uh, a fan gave me this 3D printed goddess statue, it's pretty cool. Got these little things in Japan. This big golden Zelda statue I won in a ping pong match, actually. <laughs> it's like uh, numbered on the bottom, it's like one of like 3,800 or something like that. You see Mew peeking back there, you see you. And then we keep going down and I got the uh, signature back there of Aonuma. That was the one of a hundred or whatever of the Master's Edition when I waited in line for the Switch. And uh, there's some uh, pretty glass artwork there. And then we got Mario Fan in a vacuum. <laughs> oh yeah, and then Mario up there. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this, this uh, tour. But uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I left New York City, there's a whole bunch of reasons, but here in Richmond, it's it just feels a lot more like home to me. It's, I don't know, it's perfect balance of weather and nature and people. So I will see you guys very soon with some more videos or whatever. I don't know, drop a like. Let me know what you guys think down below. Bye everyone. Ow, shoot. <laughs>